Hi folks, this is Shafik. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to focus on face anti spoofing or liveness detection for facial recognition. But before we begin, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Thank you for your all support in advance. This is a recent announcement in DeepFace library and you are going to able to access face anti-spoofing feature in DeepFace's 0092 version. DeepFace is using the pre-trained model of Minivision's silent face anti-spoofing. Firstly, let me show its real-time analyze model. You can find out its details in the real-time analyze section in the readme file. And we basically call the face libraries system function and fit the folder path of our database. For this experiment, I created DB folder and put the images of Mark Zuckerberg and myself into that folder. And here is my Python script. I'm going to basically import the deep face library, then call the face libraries stream function. And as a database path, I'm going to send the current path with dot. This is going to open my webcam and it will run facial analyze, including facial recognition and facial attribute analyze. But in this experiment, I do not want to perform facial analyze. So it's going to just perform facial recognition. That's why I'm going to set enable face analyze argument to false. Thereafter, I'm going to call this hello pi file. It builds VGG face model firstly, then it's going to open my webcam. And as you can see, it detects my face. Meanwhile, I want to show the images of Mark Zuckerberg. As you can see, this identifies my face and Mark's face. It can verify the my face and also Mark Zuckerberg's face. Suppose that this technology is put behind the entrance system of a building. In that case, if you show an authorized person's printed image, then it can get into the building, even though this is a fake attempt. At this point, the face started to support anti spoofing technology, but it's not activated by default. So, in this experiment, we are going to set this anti spoofing argument to true. Thereafter, I'm going to perform this Python script again. As you can see, this time it detects my face and its rectangle is green. This means this is a real image. On the other hand, let's see what is going to be happen when I show the printed image of Mark Zuckerberg. So, you can see the rectangle of Mark's face is red. This means this is spoofed image or it's a fake image. On the other hand, it can detect my face as a real face. So, we can basically activate anti spoofing module of the face with setting anti spoofing argument to true in stream function. But this is a real time function, it just shows analyze results in the screen and it's not recording anything to your file system. So, you may want to perform this anti spoofing in your facial recognition pipelines. To perform face anti spoofing in your facial recognition pipelines. I'm going to perform some experiments with Jupyter Notebook. Let's import the face again. Thereafter, I'm going to call let's extract faces function and as an image path, I'm going to send an image from this dataset folder. You can access those unit test items in the deep face repository as well. Dataset slash image1.jpg. Let's see what's going to return this function. This is returning preloaded facial image as numpy array. This is detected face. Meanwhile, facial array coordinates and finally confidence score. Similar to stream function, I'm going to set anti spoofing argument to true. In this case, this is going to analyze the given image is real or fake 
or in other words it's going to check its liveness as you can see when i add anti spoofing argument this is going to return is real okay and in this case this is true let's see our input image this image is not spoofed this image is real now let's test this extract faces function with spoofed images i'm going to use the unit test items of the silent face anti-spoofing repository and i stuffed these both images into my file system here i'm going to create a image path variable this is going to be my false image let's see its result when i create this image to the face this is going to return payload and it's is real k okay, is false similarly let's test this with second false image this is also returning is real k2 false we can do those checks with priority array let's assign the result of extract faces to face objects because this is returning a list and in this experiment i know just one face is available in the given image that's why i'm going to access as zero index drafter check at is real k but as you may know this is optional value if you are not sending anti spoofing argument to true then this is not going to be available in the response that's why i'm going to use get k and let's check is this true otherwise raise an exception in this case this is going to return an exception as you can see spoof effect detected this anti spoofing argument is available in all the face functions for example let's perform face verification and we are basically passing an image pair exact paths this is going to be my first image and let's test with image 2.jpg and this is my first image this is going to be my second image i know that this pair is not fake so let's check its result this is returning a payload but as you may remember this argument is false by default so i'm going to set this to true this is returning something and in this case image 1.jpg and image 2.jpg this is belonging to same person because verified k is true on the other hand let's check this experiment with this fake image as you can see this is returning an exception exception while processing image 2 path and as you can see here the root cause of the error is spoof detected in the given image so we are able to detect the fake images or a given image is not alive from the verify function as well or if you want to search an identity in a database you can use find function of the face and we basically stand an image and for example let's search the image 13.jpg because we know that this is mark zuckerberg and this is available in my database data set slash image 13.jpg and database path is going to be database folder in my desktop normally as you can see this is returning four items from my database and mark 1jpg mark 2jpg mark 5jpg and mark 3jpg these are the most similar ones and let's test this anti-spoofing argument this is going to check this image 13.jpg as real image and this is returning something on the other hand if i send an image uh, a fake image then this is going to throw an exception as you can see spoof detected in given image and finally this is available in facial attribute analyze module as well image path is going to be let's test this with real image first this is returning something that details is not important but this is the given image and basically it says this is most probably latino this is woman this is 32 years old and its dominant emotion is happy if i make this test with anti spoofing argument it's going to return a response again because we know that this is a real image on the other hand let's test the analyze function with this fake image as you can see spoof detected in the given image but you don't have to set this anti spoofing argument in that case you can find the given images facial attributes so in this video we focused on face anti spoofing or liveness detection or detect the given image is real or fake and 
this is coming with double ninety two version of the face. You just need to set the anti superfink argument of a deep face function to true to enable this module. In that way, we can detect the fake or spoofed images with the face easily with a single line of code. If you do like the video, please like it and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and also please make comments in this video. This will help me to reach more people about this content. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.